Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nathan. Just want to say uh, good afternoon, good evening to everyone, both the East West Coast. Hope you guys are enjoying your day today here on Monday. Hope you guys are also starting the week out very positive, very bright. And for this video today, what I want to tell you guys about is WWE vs. NXT trainer Billy Gunn on Friday. So, let's get right into it. The link will be in the description, in the description below. This is from WrestleView.com, posted by Jason Namako for the 13th of November 2018, which was posted on Friday of last week. And it says... WWE issued the following statement to WrestleView.com on Friday, confirming wrestling media reports that NC trainer Billy Gunn was released by the company on Friday. We can confirm that Billy Gunn is no longer with WWE. WWE declined to mention the reason behind Gunn's release from the company as of this writing. Gunn had been working with NC as a train as a trainer since 2012, had a reunion run as the New Age Outlaws with Road Dog as WWE Tag Team Champions in early 2014 and was a trainer on the most recent season of WWE Tough Enough on the USA Network. And the reason from what I'm hearing, guys, is because he failed an, an actual drug test uh, by WWE. And, um, you know, there, there's more information on this. So you guys just uh, Google and Billy Gunn failed drug test. You guys can see it there. But that's what I'm hearing so far, and that he was um, doing some competition and lifting weights because Billy Gunn looks like a big, massive guy of how he's been working out and how he's been training and stuff. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, you know, if, you, um, if you've, if uh, you you know, been t tested for, uh, you know, other stuff and, you know, and if you've been warned about time after time and time again, then you can't do it anymore. And Billy Gunn's case, you know, he was, um, he was let go by WB. And, you know, to me it sucks because I know that for Triple H, he pretty much welcomed back uh, Billy Gunn with open arms, but at the same time, they have to follow a policy that, you know, when it comes to drug testing. And who has failed it, who has uh, not failed it, and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, but, but you know, uh, but watching Billy Gunn, I always remember him as, you know, uh, Billy Gunn, you know, who was, who, who had so much great uh, athleticism and who was uh, great with uh, Road Dog as New Age Outlaws, you know, and um, they had a great gimmick to them. I actually found them more entertaining than, uh, you know, D-Generation X, more entertaining than Shawn Michaels and Triple H, but that's just me. I'm sure that many others will agree with me, too, on that. Um, and, you know, he did great as a singles wrestler, too. He was actually the Intercontinental Champion and also the uh, United States Champion, too, Tag Team Champion, you know, the list goes on and on. He, he was also in TNA as well. And uh, for me, I do wish Billy Gunn enough more the rest of the screen moving forward. Um, and uh, we'll see how much all this moving forward. But tell me in the comments below, guys, think about this. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you male neutral about W Wilson actually trainer Billy Gunn on Friday? And so tell me in the uh, comments down below. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to always go on the channel, guys. And until next time, we're saying the same. Peace, take care. I will see you guys there for the next video coming up. Later on today afternoon, it's time tomorrow or in a couple of minutes. Stay tuned. So until next time, take care, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Enjoy your Monday, and I'm out. Bye.